Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through things you can do to increase battery life and battery longevity. Now just a heads up, I am using a Mac mini which does not have a battery and so some of these steps I'll be showing you here on this Mac and then I'm also going to show you specific steps that you can do on your MacBook. Now this is a screenshot from a MacBook user and up here in the top right you should have a battery icon which you can click on to see what percentage your battery is at as far as how much it's charged. But a couple settings that you're going to want to check, go ahead and open up the system settings and type in brightness in the search and click on show keyboard brightness status in the menu bar. Now you're going to want a quick and easy way to adjust this because it does use a power in order to turn that light on. And so you'll need to scroll down until you see this section, keyboard brightness, and then show in menu bar, just go ahead and flip that on. And then it's going to add an icon up here in the top right, which you can click on and just easily and quickly adjust your keyboard brightness. So obviously if you're dealing with low battery or want to increase time that you can get with your battery, you're going to want to turn this down. Also, while you have brightness still in your search, go down to illuminate keyboard and this automated setting you may need to turn off because if you turn this down, it may pop it back up. Again, this is just the same bar that we just added up to the top right. And then turn keyboard backlight off after inactivity. You're going to want to turn this on. The shorter time, the better. It means we'll turn the light off quicker, which will help you save on energy on your battery. Also, while you still have brightness in the search bar, go to display brightness. Now, a lot of you will have this option on your actual physical keyboard and you can adjust the brightness there, but you can also do so here. If you're dealing with battery issues, you're going to want to turn it down and you'll probably need to turn this automatic option off because it may try to adjust whatever you change. But again, the rule of thumb here is the lower you turn it, the less energy it's going to use, which will give you greater battery life. Now back to the search, type in battery and click on the battery option. And it's going to take you to this page. It will show you again, your battery charge or how fully charged it is. And then right here, you're going to have a low power mode. This is something that you'll want to go ahead and turn on because it adjusts and optimizes for a low battery. And you can set it to only turn on when you're not plugged in. Additionally, right here, it will list the battery health, which you'll just want to keep an eye on periodically. And then also, again, while you still have battery in the search, click on battery health. It will list the same option we see back here, but this will also tell you what the maximum capacity is. This is relative to when the computer was brand new or the battery was brand new. And so it lets you know how much it can fully charge compared to that benchmark. And so this one specifically is able to charge 88% of what it was or able to when it was first new. And you will want to toggle this on optimize battery charging because this can reduce battery aging. And then also while you have battery in the search, click on slightly dim the display on battery. It's going to pop up this little modal. Now you can toggle this top option on. I would still recommend just manually adjusting the display brightness as I showed earlier, but you do have this option as well. And then wake for network access. When you're on battery, you want this set to never because if it's constantly waking up to do these things, that's going to use up more energy or more power from your battery. So again, make sure it's set to never. And then you can optimize video streaming while on battery, toggle this on, but it will switch the content you're viewing from HDR to SDR. So it's a bit of a trade-off. So you got to make a personal decision with that setting. Other things you'll want to do is go to your applications folder and open up the activity monitor, which is this window right here. And there's an actual tab for energy and here you can sort by energy impact to see what is currently taking up the most power from your battery. You can also see here what took up the most power over the last 12 hours. And if there's something here that you don't need, you're not using, and it's just taking up power, you can click on it and then hit this X up here to stop it. Also be aware there is an app nap column as well as a preventing sleep column. Just keep an eye on those as well. Going back to system settings, type in login into the search and then click on open at login. And up here at the top, it will list everything that's set to start when you first log into the computer. And that does use up energy. And so I would recommend getting this list down to zero. You just select an item from the list, hit the minus sign and it will remove it. Also be aware down here, allow in background. This is a list of everything that is allowed to run in the background and that does use up power. So as much as possible, 
I would turn as many of these off as you can. Make sure when you close an application that you fully close it. If you're just clicking this red X up in the top left, it does close the window, but the application's still open and running. You can see there's a dot down here below the application. And so you can just control click to open up this menu and click on quit and it will fully close out the application. You can also click on the Apple icon in the top left, click on force quit. It will list everything that's currently open. Just make sure you have saved what you're working on before you go through and start closing things. But this is a quick way just to see everything that needs to be closed as far as applications. It's also not a bad idea to go to your applications folder and just remove and uninstall any applications you don't use. That way there's no chance of it running in the background or using a battery that you don't want or need it to use. So to uninstall something, you just click on it, drag it to the trash, and that will uninstall it from your computer permanently. In system settings, search for appearance and then click on appearance and switch to dark mode. This has been shown to help save on battery life. Also search for update and then click on software update. Apple does periodically release optimization updates for their software to help improve battery life. And so you do want to make sure you are staying up to date. Same with your applications. You can update applications by going to the app store and then clicking updates here on the left hand side. Again, by and large, they are always trying to optimize and increase performance. But just keep in mind, occasionally new features are released and sometimes those new features or settings can do the opposite and use up more energy or battery life. But the general rule of thumb is the updates are good and you do want to stay up to date. It's also a good thing for security as well. Also, you can search for Bluetooth and click on Bluetooth. And if you're not currently using this, I would recommend turning it off because this also uses up energy. Obviously, if you're currently using it, that's not going to be an option, but just know that it can help. Same thing with Wi-Fi. If you are low on battery and you're able to work offline or whatever it is you're doing can be done offline, turning this off can also help save battery. And just in general, if you have a lot of accessories plugged into your laptop, unplug those if you can. That will also help from draining your battery. The last setting is search for turn off display and then click on turn off display when inactive right here. If you want to increase battery life, you're going to want to turn this down. The quicker the display turns off, the better because it does use a lot of power to keep that display turned on, even if you've turned the brightness down. And I will also mention that it's a good idea to keep your MacBook in room temperature. If you're leaving it out in the sun or in an environment that is really hot or really cold, that can damage the battery. In fact, Apple suggests keeping your MacBook within 62 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 16 to 22 Celsius. Again, going above or below that range can cause permanent damage to your battery. Hopefully those tips and suggestions will help, but if you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member today. You can also hit that thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.